Silencing the mind involves going through the process of thinking when one has to think, and keeping the mind quiet when thinking is not needed. The human capacity to focus on things improves. People can think more intently. The overall understanding gets lucid, and human understanding of the world elaborates when the entire thought process goes into the state of silence. When people keep thinking about every miserable ordeal, getting upset or being unhappy, they gain nothing. Isn't it preferable to spend valuable time and energy on something more worthwhile and productive? It's only feasible when people know how to silence their minds and remain peaceful. Silence of the mind does not mean that people are not thinking. They are not concealing their impulses or that their mind is blank. A silent human mind is loaded, not empty. A silent mind has no feelings of attraction, cravings, or commitments since it is not analyzing, commenting, or judging. How to Silence the Mind It's easy to get carried away by a kaleidoscope of transient thoughts in today's environment. Multitasking workloads and new technological onslaught are becoming more prevalent and their impacts are being felt in the form of rising depression and burnout statistics. Does anyone know that when working, reading, or composing an email can lower anybody's IQ by 10 points? To counteract the fast-paced lifestyle and continual preoccupying thoughts, people need to come up with a way to calm their minds, to recover from the constant inundation of information they are habitually evaluating and subjected to. Even when they are lucky to find solitude and enjoy peace and tranquility, their thoughts are frequently engaged in a range of complicated cognitive activities. What if there was a tried and true approach to the clear human mind of these annoying ideas while also improving overall human health conditions? Although meditation is frequently connected with Buddhism and spirituality, its practical implications are usually ignored by the masses. There has been a lot of research done on meditation and its health benefits, enhanced pleasure, intellect, creativity, mental flexibility, and greater immune function are some of the favorable outcomes of meditation. Meditation has also been proven to help those with heart ailments, chronic pain, depression, tension, panic attacks, and substance abuse. Buddhist monks were keenly observed while they meditated. Signals in the left prefrontal cortex were found to be higher as they got indulged in meditation. This part of the brain is linked to happiness and good feelings. Besides, when confronted with challenges, these monks were more resilient. Several other researchers have found that following eight weeks of 45-minute daily meditation, subjects consistently demonstrated improved moods, reduced anxiety, and minimum stress. Brain scans revealed that the left prefrontal cortex was more active during those moments. Fortunately, additional research has shown that simply 15 minutes of meditation each day can have similar outcomes. Guided meditation is the smartest approach to begin meditating. Clearing one's mind of all ideas is surprisingly tough. It's a little easier if people concentrate on a recording, music, or instructions. Here's a simple meditation activity anyone can do at home. First, one must choose a quiet area where they can sit or lie down comfortably. They may feel the chair or bed against their body. Then, when taking deep breaths, people should pay attention to how the body reacts. They may observe how the stomach rises with each breath and falls with each exhale. Also, they may gather all of their attention on their breathing. They must also focus on the sensation of inhaling through the nostrils in particular. They might experience the air entering and exiting the room. People may give this unique assessment their undivided attention. Instead of forcing oneself to breathe, one should try to do so naturally. When people are attempting to focus entirely on breathing, it is natural for thoughts to cross the path of meditation. One must not stifle his thoughts. Instead, subjects should observe the thought process and refocus their attention on breathing 
to continue the meditation process. Subjects should continue with their deep breathing and begin concentrating on a past pleasant experience if they decide to improve positive emotions during meditation. Deep breathing should continue while trying to relieve the sensation in the cognitive mind. One should assess the small nuances and try to relive the experience using other senses. If people recall a previous vacation stint they had enjoyed on a seacoast, they should try to recall the visuals, the sounds and smells of the water, the feel of the sun on the skin, etc. To enjoy a pleasant memory while deep breathing has been linked to improved heart coherence and health care. Besides, one may try something as basic as taking three deep breaths at every fixed interval throughout the day if he wants to try short meditative stuff that can immediately trigger the relaxation response. People should make it a habit in daily life. To put it another way, to ritualize this behavior and boost the sense of well-being, it is suggested to take three deep breaths every time one comes to a red signal or any routine situation. Silence the mind and stimulate the brain. People have been socialized to believe both men and women can't enhance their mental health after reaching a certain age. Humans are presumably destined to remain incapable of developing their brain's creativity or ability to control their own destinies throughout their lives, with few exceptions. Contemporary medical science, on the contrary, has demonstrated that the human brain may be reconfigured at any age. Recent neurological investigations and brain imaging approaches have documented the strength and usefulness of using specific strategies in the reprogramming cycle. Numerous researchers by Harvard Medical School's Dr. Robert Benson show that these strategies can boost creativity, pragmatic insights, and optimum professional performance. It indicates that the human brain can learn new abilities and expand its capability to resolve any issue it encounters, regardless of age or educational attainment. This is fantastic news because most people are dealing with problems in both their professional and personal lives. But isn't it possible that they have more power than people realize to tackle some of these issues? The response is a resounding, unequivocal yes. However, attaining this reprogramming and so boosting the mental prowess comes with a significant hurdle. To begin, one must learn how to establish a mental state of silence. When thinking and innovating, some of history's finest thinkers, from Thoreau to Einstein to Twain, used a state of mental silence. It's been said that when the mind is silent, a plethora of alternatives and ideas stream not only on the creative, but also on the functional parts of the brain. Silence has been shown to improve the surface structure of human brains, according to Harvard, Yale, and MIT academics. They discovered considerable growth in the brain regions that take care of concentration and sensory input by employing brain scans. However, in today's environment, where human senses are continuously penetrated, the silence of the mind can be a huge problem for several individuals. Humans are kept in a perpetual state of sensory overload, from waking up to the screaming of alarm clocks, tackling peak rush hour traffic, confronting continual work hazards, being subjected to plenty of communiques via email and text messaging, to an abundant supply of 24-hour news stations. It is undeniable that today most people lead stressful lives. It's also generally accepted that all individuals can't seem to silence their minds. All have positive and negative self-talk that deters them from seeing things clearly. The excellent thing is that silencing the human mind is indeed possible, and it can start with a simple drill-down known as thought observance. People may start by sitting in a quiet place at home or business in a comfy chair. To avoid being distracted, one needs to make sure all cell phones and other electronic devices and gadgets are turned off. People need to sit straight, with an upright back, but with relaxed shoulders. 
Subjects need to place their hands on their lap in whatever position they feel comfortable with their eyes closed. Now they need to pay attention to their thought process. Just be conscious of the thoughts without trying to modify or criticize them. They need to shift their attention to the top of the head after a few minutes in a calm posture. When they are finished, they can slowly open their eyes and stay motionless for two minutes before getting up. People should practice for a minimum of 10 minutes every morning and evening to initiate the process of silencing the mind, drawing out its potential, and eventually retraining the old mind to do some novel things. Silencing the Mind to Discover Success Religious preachers from all across the world have urged people to silence their minds for ages. It states that if people calm their minds and truly seek answers from God, they will be able to attain profound spirituality. Religion has continued to foster the silence of the mind to this day. Spiritual instructors, self-help experts, and even counselors are now advocating for this type of practice since it is so beneficial. Essentially, calming the mind isn't the same as meditation. It's about being willing and capable of silencing the mind at some point during the day. People can now sense the ebb and flow of their life if they do so. One won't be able to come up with a definitive answer if one's head is clogged. If he's trying to solve a business or personal life problem, for instance, he'll discover that silencing the mind can help him make sound choices and arrive at a more definitive answer. With today's hectic lifestyles, one can see how the mind might become crowded, preventing him from concentrating on and seeking a solution to a specific problem. People should calm their minds rather than stressing and agonizing about the predicament. They should remember that worrying about a situation will only result in tension, irritation, concern, and maybe illness in the long run. So people must set aside a few minutes each day to sit freely and comfortably and unwind to settle their minds. One may consider the issue and how he plans to address it. Whether individuals are dealing with a difficulty at work or a problem in their personal life, they can rest assured that they can find a solution. It's important to realize that life is filled with obstacles. People must tackle these challenges every day, no matter how massive or minor they are. One may be confident that if one sets out a few moments each day to silence individual thoughts, he can deal with any difficulties or challenges in personal life. Silencing thought is a simple process that can be mastered. People don't have to understand how to meditate. All they have to do is clear their minds of all other distractions and focus on the issue at hand. Yoga, a proper guide to silence the mind. As per yogic philosophy, the physical body is a reflection of the unconscious mind which houses all of one's memories, emotions, and dreams, as well as cravings, phobias, wrath, and frustrations. The innermost communication channels are formed by the principles and theories that attract the most consideration. To complement impulses and addictions, these pathways offer creativity and healthy habits. When these stimuli are interpreted, the unconscious mind sends messages to the physical body, Therefore, the body can relax and perform more effectively, or it can eject adrenaline into its system to battle what it regards as a challenge, depending on how it is interpreted. Although people technically blame one another or situations for their emotions, their reality is created by their self-created version. Yoga mindfulness is regarded as the most efficient technique to change the mind and the form is less significant than the frequency with which it is practiced. Although having a set time of day and a specific location can help people form a beneficial habit, they are not that much required. A simple act of awareness can be enough in the playing area or in the carpool. Guided meditations, visualizations, and music audio with binaural beats are all helpful ways to start for individuals who have problems sitting still. 
What is effective for one individual may not be effective for another. Yoga poses were developed to prepare the human mind for contemplative state, and meditation sessions serve to offer discipline. Several people experiment with different meditation techniques as they master the skill, while others combine several types of mindfulness into their routines. However, it requires patience and determination to build new habits, just as it takes time and energy to adopt harmful behaviors into human lives. People may silence their lives and grow healthy habits of kindness and compassion by rewriting the abstract programs that operate human brains. Breathing exercises are one of the easiest methods to comprehend for most yoga practitioners. Breathing awareness is frequently emphasized in yoga programs, highlighting how effective these practices are. Human breathing is considered a steady ebb and flow while people are alive. They don't need to go to the beaches or the mountains to be aware of their breathing. Simply they can sit quietly and breathe deeply without judging any distractions. People can notice and relax the self-breathing activities without attempting to manage inhales or exhales. A decent posture is critical, but sitting on the ground can be tough if people are raised in a chair-sitting environment. As a result, try using a chair to sit comfortably. Subjects would only be able to stay focused despite the discomfort in their back if they ignore it. Closing the eyes is acceptable, although some practitioners find it useful to focus on their breath. Light music falls into the same category. Some yoga instructors never play music during class, while others do it all of the time. Therefore, one may consider music to be a supplementary tool. There are a few basic exercises that can help individuals improve their focus and attention, such that when they begin to meditate, they can focus better. Drawing a circle on a white sheet of paper and placing it against a wall is effective. People may stare at the circle and only think about the circle in their vision. Any other impulses should be expelled as soon as they enter the head. Practitioners should simply accept that the thought is present and then command it to depart and return the attention to the circle. Meditation will assist people in silencing the mind. Many seasoned practitioners overlook directing new students to the most basic meditation techniques. The easiest way to train and silence the mind is to choose the shortest route. The apparent lack of audible ambient sound the emission of low-intensity sounds that do not attract themselves, or the condition of having stopped to generate sounds, are examples of silence. The latter perception can be extended to include the absence of any mode of communication, whether through speaking or by other means. When speakers pause to look for a word or stop before correcting themselves, they may fall silent. As per discourse analysis, brief silences are used to mark the borders of prosodic units, in turn-taking, or as response markers such as a sign of disapproval, dispute, discomfort, urge to think, perplexity, and so on. Silence can be employed in rituals for relatively long lengths of time. In some religious practices, individuals retain silence for lengthy periods or their whole lives as an austere means of spiritual attainment. Silence can become a powerful rhetorical tool when people prefer to remain silent for a particular reason. It has been acknowledged not just as a theory, but also as a reality with practical implications. The silence that becomes rhetorical is done on purpose because it conveys a meaning. The audience, not the rhetorician, is the target of rhetorical silence. In spirituality, silence is frequently used as a metaphor for internal calmness. A silent human mind, free of thoughts and mental processes, is an aspiration and a crucial step toward spiritual development. This inner silence genre isn't about the lack of sound. Rather, it's about connecting with the heavenly or the ultimate reality. It may be one's true self, one's divine identity, for transformational and holistic spiritual growth to happen, numerous religious traditions emphasize the necessity of being peaceful 
but still in the state of mind and spirit. There is the silence of devotional gesture in Christianity, including centering prayer and Christian meditation. There is the wisdom literature of the Sufis in Islam, which emphasizes the necessity of seeking solitude within the self. Silence and the ability to let the mind be in silent condition are described as elements of spiritual enlightenment in Buddhism. Educators in Hinduism, particularly Avaita, Vedata teachings, and other yoga schools, stress the value of silence, maona, for inner growth. When an adversary in a dispute expects something to be said, argumentative silence arrives to convey the rhetorical practice of saying nothing. It can be disrespectful if done incorrectly, similar to declining to answer a straightforward question. Silence used at the right time might confuse an opponent and render the debater in the dominant position. Music in some form or another relies on silence to differentiate between various levels of sound and allow melodies, rhythms, and dynamics to have a larger impact. Rests, for instance, are common in music scores and represent intervals of silence. Moreover, silence in music can be viewed as a period for reflection. The audience can actively meditate on what they have heard by feeling the effects of the previous notes and sound melodies. Silence does not detract from musical brilliance, but it can heighten the sounds of musical instruments and vocalists within a musical composition.